Welcome to Electro Online, and now we're going to talk about light and electromagnetic radiation in order to understand astronomy better. Of course, for us to be able to observe the universe, we can only do that by observing whatever comes to us from these great distances. The universe is so vast and things are so far away that really for us to explore the universe, it's not practical for us to jump into a spaceship and try to travel there because we would never get there. It, they're simply, those distances are simply too large and too vast to travel the universe. Only in our imagination and of course in, in movies that we probably like, such as Star Trek and Star Wars and so forth, we travel to the far ends of the universe and the far ends of the galaxy, not possible in real life. So for us to study the universe, we have to study the information that comes to us and the way that information comes to us is through electromagnetic radiation and light is just one form of that electromagnetic radiation so if you want to look at all the different types of the electromagnetic radiation I have written them down right here starting with radio waves we have microwaves we have infrared radiation for short we use IR infrared radiation visible light ultraviolet radiation we call it UV x-rays and gamma rays and of course we use gamma rays like that for short and for the visible light range even though it's only a very small portion of the total electromagnetic radiation band in that small portion visible light we have the colors red orange yellow green blue and violet purple indigo whatever you want to call it call it violet and so then you see that since light is between infrared and ultraviolet Notice we go from infrared to red light and from violet color into ultraviolet color. Now ultraviolet is no longer visible to the eye, neither is infrared. So the only electromagnetic radiation that's actually visible to the human eye is what enters our eye in the form of visible light. And that's why we call it visible light, it's only that which is visible to us. Now there are animals and there are insects that indeed can see in infrared, so they can actually see images in the dark because of the infrared radiation that they're able to detect and so they're sensitive to that and they can actually make images from that we as people cannot do that now what is the difference between all this well it turns out that in a certain sense there's no difference whatsoever between any of these types of electromagnetic radiation yes in the sense that they have different frequencies and wavelengths and we'll get into those details in another video but other than that it's actually the very same thing. It's all simply electromagnetic radiation. It's simply energy that is floating through space through the changes of the electric fields caused by charges and all that. And we'll get into the details of how that actually happens. All we have to know at this point is simply that there's different types based upon their wavelength, based upon their frequency. And notice that they're really all part of the same family of things, what we call electromagnetic radiation. And visible light is simply the portion of that total band that we can actually see with our eyes, and that's what we call it visible light. If you're interested in this, we have quite a few videos coming explaining all the details of what electromagnetic radiation really is and what it actually, how it's actually caused to exist and where it is and how it exists and what it does. It's really exciting. Once we understand that, we can then see how we can utilize our understanding of electromagnetic radiation to go and explore the universe. And that's what this is all about.